Today's video is going to be on how to make a sign like this one. This is MDF, quarter inch MDF, and then one eighth inch. That's the type of board. This it's kind of like a hard board. Well, I mean, you get it from Home Depot. They, they do do it with a white top, but the brown top one is actually easier to paint. So I'm just going to show in light burn how I design the file and how I cut it out and then all you basically have to do is you know spray paint I spray painted this white and then I hand painted this black but it could be spray painted as well so yeah that was the final outcome the only thing I've got to do is just add one more block onto the back here and then I can add the bracket because otherwise if you try and screw a bracket to this quarter inch you don't have a lot of depth really for your screw so but yeah, I was pretty happy with how that came out. You can see the depth of it there. It's one eighth inch. I'll get into the video. Once you're in light burn, you just want to choose what size you want your sign to be. So I'm going to drag this out while holding shift so it drags evenly. And then I'm going to make my 120 inches. And this locks on, so that's going to keep the aspect the same. This first layer here, you want to cut a full circle out for the backboard. So I'm going to put this on layer two, which is a line layer, so it can be cut out. Then I'm going to press Control and D to duplicate it and put this one on my fill layer. For a second, I'm going to turn off this red layer because that one's finished. Now it's just about getting the design you want. So I'm going to click the outside and offset and then just move it to, this is how I did mine, like, you know, as thick as you want your offset to be. I'm going to go half an inch, so I'll just go 0.5. The next thing is to get the rounded words like I did, you just want to, once you've got it written out, drag it till it's like, you know, fair size, because you can still change it. And then by using the little blue dot up here, it will allow you to bend it around. So I'm going to bend that around, put it roughly in place. I want it a little bit bigger than that. So you just got to mess around a bit till you're happy of where it is. And also with the writing, you can just change the font up here. So this was the font I used. Now you can see it's like gone over itself. There's a couple of ways that you can fix this. The horizontal spacing will bring these closer together. So I mean, you could just bring this spacing closer together. I'll go back to the zero. And I'm just gonna make this a bit smaller. And then just use this to open it back out a bit. But that is a good one to keep in mind up the top here, this horizontal spacing, because it'll help you out to, you know, if you wanted it to go all the way around, you could, you know, pretty easy line it up with that, so. And then, select my graphic which is going to go in the center there a little bit too big it's just a matter really of getting the stuff where you want it so now i'm gonna switch this layer back on the red one and hold shift and click on it and that way it will select it so now the red layer is selected i can you know put this out of the way for a minute so both of these, this as well actually, is not a fill layer, it's on a line layer, so. But it is actually easier to have it on fill while you're working on it because you can kind of see a bit better what's going on. So I'm gonna turn that to a line and now I'm just gonna cut one, I'm gonna cut this circle out of the quarter inch MDF and then the one eighth inch MDF, I'm gonna cut all these pieces once it's all cut out, it's, you're going to have a template. Okay, and you can see there, that's the template. So there's that brown ball that it cut out of. What I did was got a piece of masking tape or something, whatever you got, and stick it to the back so that when you drop it into place, you've still got a way that you can pull it out because once these are glued in, you know, you don't have trouble pulling it out. So just make sure just to put something that you can grab hold of and get it from underneath that way 
it just makes it a lot easier to lift up and then yep yeah, then you've got everything placed in the right place yeah it cuts nice on my 80 watt laser i use a 12 speed and a 60 power and then i'd say it's just a matter of painting it really so thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe and i will put out another video as soon as possible thank you